if you already have an existing business and you are not running traffic on YouTube or you're not at least retargeting your audience, you are leaving a ton of money on the table. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly where to get your retargeting pixel and how to set that up so that you can easily start to build these retargeting audiences and take advantage of the awesome traffic that YouTube has. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I am here inside of my Google Ads account. I came over to Tools and Settings and I've gone to Audience Manager, right? So I'm in here, here's your data segments, and over here you see your data sources. Now, all you need to do is come over here to the Google Ads tag and click this Details button, and under here you can see the tag setup. So uh, install the tag yourself, and this is, this is literally it right here, right? So you're just gonna copy this, and it's just a little global site tag, or it's called the Google tag now, it used to be called the global site tag, and you're just going to install this in the head of every single page that you want to track. It is that simple. Well, that's literally all that you have to do. Now, once that is installed, you're gonna come over here to audiences, and you're gonna be in your audience manager, you're gonna click create audience, and all you're gonna do is, um, oops, sorry, I meant to go to segments. So once you, So once you have your tag, <clears throat> so once you get your tag, you install that in the head, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to segments, right? And then you're just going to, you have your data segments, you're gonna click this plus button, and you can then set up a list of people who have visited any page of your website. So this is really cool. Um, you can say, hey, visitors of a website or web page, and I'm gonna refine this action. And this might, you know, maybe I wanna target the homepage of videoadvault.com, which is our, our YouTube ad spy tool. Uh, so I can come over here and I can literally just, here we go, new audience segment. I could say, hey, URL contains this. I'm gonna delete that there. Um, I might even just say like videoadvault.com. And I can say, hey, I want it to be pre-filled of people who match the rule within the last 30 days. Obviously your tag is going to have to be installed there, but I can then target people who hit this page. And then I can say, and I wanna target people who, you know, anything like that, I can refine these actions, all that good stuff. Um, and I can build all of these things. So I can say, hey, visitors of specific web pages, whatever, uh, and I can actually, you know, say, hey, people who visited this page and this page. Or what I can do is I can exclude people. So I can say, I wanna exclude people who have visited um, you know, my login page, right? So this is actually where the software is. So if somebody buys, they're going to be into my software. So I'm just gonna say, hey, I wanna exclude everybody who purchases as well, right? So boom, now I can then exclude everybody. Uh, and you can say it contains equals, you know, starts with blah, blah, blah. So I'm now going to retarget everybody who hits my landing page who did not log into my software, right? That's essentially me excluding all of the buyers. So I can do that. And now I have an audience of people on YouTube that have, um, you know, done awesome things that have visited my website, not purchased. Obviously that's not that awesome. I want them to purchase, but now I can retarget them and get them to purchase, right? And uh, I actually have another video where I talk about the top two types of ads that you should be using. I'll link to that on this video. There'll be a little pop-up right about now that's going to basically take you to that video. So if you wanna see, you know, once these audiences are set up, how exactly, you know, what types of YouTube ads should you be using to reach them? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's an in-stream and an in-feed ad. And in-feed ads work extremely well by doing, uh, you know, when you set up these retargeting audiences. So definitely check that video out. Uh, if you are interested in setting up these ads yourself, I put together a free training, um, basically breaking down our entire system for setting up and running profitable YouTube ads. And you can check that out in the description of this video. So that's it for me. If you did like the video, please give me that thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment letting me know exactly what else you want videos about, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.